Hey guys, in today's Hiker Series build video, we are going to talk about National Luna LED stick light. Uh, this is a very popular product. I see it at a lot of overlanding shows. I've always wanted to try one of these lights, see what the big fuss is all about, why everybody's putting them on all the builds, um, these high-end trailers and truck builds, and see how it compares to the Oz 4 Drive LED stick that I've been running for about four or five years now. Um, I've been a huge fan of their products. Um, I've used a lot of the products in the emergency market and have stuck with their products for quite a while. So when I saw the National Lunas at all these Overland shows, I thought I had to give it a try. So let's take a look. So National Luna has been around for a while. They make fridges and all kinds of outdoor overlanding equipment. Uh, this light in particular has 18 white LEDs and 12 amber LEDs and three power modes. It's got a low, medium, high for both colors, and it uses a touch-sensitive switch. So what we're going to do first is we're going to mount up the National Luna light, then we're going to take a look at the Oz 4 drive light and see how it compares. So we just stripped the wire back and used our power crimper. So we crimped a couple of ends on. I got this extension cable. You can buy this on Amazon. It's two wire. It's already in a sheath. Works good for running extensions for cables. So we're just gonna wrap this up with some wire loom. And we're gonna put some of these black clips so that we can run it on the underside of the cabinet. And then we're gonna run our extension to the fuse box. Get it ready to go. So we've got our light. It's got two mounting holes on each side. Screws are provided with this light, which I really like. Um, it's got just a plastic back with a little bit of a gap, probably for, for um, heat reasons. But um, after we made our joint with my connectors, I just wrapped this with some tape to keep the two wires together so they don't get caught on anything. So we're gonna mount the light first, then we're gonna run our slack to our fuse box, and then we'll figure out what we got left. Do you like those tight spaces? No. <laughs> so I'm just checking, I got about the width of the thumb all the way down. Make sure that I'm very scientific here. <laughs> I love your measurement style. Yep. That way it's the same all the way across. Tiny, tiny, tiny little wire holders. <laughs> Don't know the actual name of these things. And you run her home. This is the fuse box that Hiker has. Take these two black nuts off, and then the cover comes off. So all we have is power coming in and ground and yep so the top one's ground we got white up here this bottom one is going to be power red down there so power ground so we need to go power and ground yep so our power's on this side ground's on this side so we're going to have the wires come up which is this loom here we're going to cut it just short we're going to tie it off to this just to follow it up Connect one to the side, one to that side, put in a fuse, we're good to go. Perfect crimp every time. Test it. Good. So. Okay, got the National Luna light mounted. Pretty bright. Go through the cycles. Medium, high. Low, medium, high. 
hold it, hold it. Mm -hmm. It goes to amber, low, medium, high, and then off and move your finger. If you can see just a little bit of blue glow to help you find the switch. But where we've got it mounted on the cabinet, I think what we're gonna end up having to do is because there's a location, we're gonna end up putting like a, a sticker or some kind of mark on the wood right here. So I can kind of help you guide that from this point, go straight under and you'll be able to find it to be able to turn it on. Otherwise, it might be a little bit of a challenge to find, especially in the dark. Looks good, it's clean. I would say it's a little bit softer light than what the OS4 wood drive one is, um, definitely. So if we go and you hold it in, goes back to white, that's high. And you can see, just went to that corner, went up to the top to the fuse panel. And standing back, the light is evenly dispersed all the way across. I want to say it's probably a little bit warmer temperature than what the OS4 wood drive one is. Looking at ours, it's definitely a bluer. And this is the OS4 wood drive ones. And this is a 24 inch. So we've got it spanning the whole length with the switches. So a lot of light there. And you get a nice overspill because you can see it spills outside the trailer really nice. So you can see the area right outside the trailer, which is perfect. And this light, you actually have the ability to combine LEDs. So now it's a little bit softer white because I have both sets on at the same time. Probably hard to see with the camera, but I've got white and amber on at the same time. So then if I turn off the amber, now you can see it gets a little more brighter white, more of that 6,000 Kelvin scale. So that's plenty of spill. Works well. And the other trailer is right over there. That one still has plenty of spill. Had about a thumb's width that I had in between here. This one's probably a little tighter to the outside of the wood on the bottom of this shelf. But it's also a bigger stick. That's a 24 inch. This one's a lot smaller. But this one definitely is getting the job done. I don't know, potatoes, potatoes, guys. I like them both. I like the temperature color of this one, but I like the price of the other one. So the question is, can you justify the price of the National Luna versus the OS four wheel drive? That's gonna probably be the ultimate question. Both easy to wire up. The one thing that I don't care for for the National Luna, I'll tell you right now, just trying to find the switch and having to always cycle three times to get it up and get it full brightness. With the Oz four-wheel drive, I can push it once, it's on, push it once, it's off. No, no low, medium, high. We're here, I have to cycle through three, four times just to get it off. So, and when I first used the switch, it wasn't very responsive, but the more I'm using it, it said something about 10 to 15 seconds to somehow settle in so that it knew um, to become responsive. I don't know what that's all about. If you guys know, put it in the comments. And then figure out here where we want to mount it. Um, there's a little bit of a lip here. So I'm probably gonna run on the underside of that lip. So standing back here, I will be able to reach into the shelf and just push the button right here and have the light illuminate. So the nice thing is in the inside here, Hiker is already jigged out a location here. 
They have this area open, which is great. You can run some wires through there. And then on the back side, makes it super easy. So I don't know if you can see these clips, but these are the wires here you're gonna tap into. You're gonna flip these orange levers up. You're gonna shove the wire in there and you're gonna press it down. That's all you gotta do, guys. So the red's gonna go to red and see white is black. In the RV world, white is always the ground. So these two are grounds. It's attached to this black ground wire. We're just gonna lift this up and we're gonna put the wire underneath there. We're gonna put it underneath on this side and we're gonna be good to go. And we're just gonna tuck our wires in hide them in the back and we're gonna come through that hole right there let's see So there's your white, there's your amber. Just a high on, off. That's what I like about it, is it comes on. It's just one brightness, there's no leveling, and you can feel the other switch right next to it. Turn that one on for your bright white. No leveling, no dimming, no nothing, just on off. That's all you need. It's just the right amount of light output with a six inch. I can see something on here, throw my keys in here, a flashlight. I got a belt box like this. I've got a bunch of stuff in and I need to grab something quick. Find the playing cards. We're good to go. So what do you guys think? Do you like the EVP light? It's a little bit whiter. Um, I feel like it's a little more on the blue tint. The Luna light is I think a little warmer, a little softer light. Seems to disperse the light a little more floody where the EVP is a little more directional. But both are completely illuminating the inside of a small trailer. So either way, you're going to win either way, whichever one you go with. So let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about both of the lights? Which one would you prefer? Um, the switch part of the National Luma, I think, is a little more touchy. I don't like that you have to go through three selections to finally find off. Um, I don't like that user interface. I do like OS 4 wheel drive. I like where you just can click the button on OS 4 wheel drive and turn it on, turn it off. So both of them are great lights though from great companies. So get out there, support one of them. If you can, if you got any more questions on lighting, put it down in the comments. We'll get a discussion going. Love to chat with you guys. Let me know your opinions and thoughts on this and we will see you in the next video. Make sure you get out and do some camping.